and welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby. In this video we want to talk about this little power supply here, whoop, which is this one, and you can see it shows voltage and amperage both in this display. So as you can remember, up there there is this old, in quotes old, cheap power supply I assembled and put together and I, find, I thought this is really awesome when you want to save money and you want to still have a charger up to 20 amps, which is awesome. And the range resides between 0 to 24 volts, actually. Um, but it had a fixed 20 amp. So what I want to focus this time on is this power supply, which is adjustable voltage 0 to 24, as well as adjustable amperage 0 to 20. The reason why I was doing that, I have a battery which was only able to charge up to 15 amps, and the other charger was just, you know, was having the 20 continuously, and you can only adjust the voltage. I was doing a little research, and I thought, oh, there's this power supply here, which I thought maybe it's cheaper, maybe not, but I bought it and I thought I'll make it as beginner friendly as possible. With this battery, I also got those alligator clamps, which come already with an XT60 connector. On top of this XT60 connector, I have already uh, connected another XT60 connector, which you can buy already pre-assembled. So the question, I have this power supply, I have this connector one, I have a second, this one. And then I have also the power cord, which is this one, which I also bought. So make it beginner friendly as possible, as easy as possible. But um, is it still cheaper? I mean, that's still a question, right? Because you can get pre-assembled and finished battery chargers, which are specifically to the setting, oh, I have a lithium iron phosphate battery, oh, I have a lead acid battery, AGM battery and stuff like that. So that's really, you have to push the button. You don't need to know anything with this one. Just have to make sure that you don't destroy your battery. But maybe you want to use it as a power supply for something else. What I did, I just show you really briefly, besides buying just those three cables, the power cord, um, this connector, and also the alligator clamp connector. I also had to make sure that I have those connectors here. I hope you can see it. To probably connect it, not only power supply, but also XT60 connector. Yeah, I hope you can see this here a little bit better. So here's line, neutral, ground, and then we have up to four wires we can connect, two negative, two positive, and I only need, for this case, I only need this connector. And what's nice about it, again, I can just make an adapter if I want to. I can plug in an adapter and connect whatever I want to. I can build something if I want to. It's it's just, you know, it's nice and easy. And it's, I have this connector, then I have a MC4 connector. It's, it's really nice and versatile. So in terms of, is it cheaper? So let's do the math and see if it's actually cheaper. I paid $54.56. Um, worth mentioning here, this was a warehouse deal, which means the regular price is $69.99. And I did pay for the for two pair of XT60 um, connectors with, with the 12 gauge uh, cable connected already. I paid $12.88. And for the alligator clamps, uh, also 12 gauge, I paid $12.97. And this in combination brings us up to $80.41 for the entire power supply adjustable. If you calculate over the regular price with $69.99, yeah, obviously you can do the math, it's higher. So um, question of it's really cheaper, mm, I don't know. There is There are other power supplies out there. It's the question of they uh, have that high output with 20 amps if you want to. So that's, that's really up to you. Maybe you have other uh, ideas what you want to do with this. Maybe that's a constant power supply you need it for. I don't know, there might be different reasons out there. I still think when I compare it with the old power supply, which I had in the first video, um, this one gives me more versatility. Do I wish the price would be cheaper? Definitely, because the first power supply was a lot cheaper, I felt like. Something like that you might get with a Victron um, power supply as well, up to, what is it, I think it was 15 amps or something, also great. You can adjust, you have Bluetooth and stuff like that. Um, does it compete with that? Absolutely not. I think that's something, two separate shoes, I feel like, but it's it's for sure, it's something to consider. And uh, this one with $80 plus tax, by the way, sorry, US prices, it's it's really the question if you like that more. I want to do a quick test with it, whatever it displays, if it also puts it out. Uh, and therefore I got one of those little batteries here, um, thanks to Redodio. I learned it's not Redodo, it's Redodio. I want to try to charge this battery. It's pretty new. By the way, video is coming soon about this battery as well. No telling you more about it. It's a 100 amp hour mini from Redodio. I'll just connect everything. Pretty simple, easy setup. And what's cool about it, I can use my alligator clamps. I did make sure the battery has 13.13 .13 
vaults at the moment, so there is little room to fill it up. So I hope you can read it. I'll try to make it as good as possible. Another one that you can see. I'm connecting the clamps. I'll adjust it to 14.4 volts. As always, those knobs are okay. They don't have a click or anything. They're very fluid, so it means when you twist it too much, totally off. But I want to go give it full power, 20 amps. The battery can handle up to 20 amps. So we'll see what's happening, right? Just connecting everything here. This is going all the way up. Whatever you have, give me. That's the max I can go. It says 14.4 volts charging plus minus 0.2. So we can see the amperage says 21. Um, so here we have 21. 21.06050 0, 0, yeah, and we have 21.0 going in. I think that's pretty close. Well, I could sit here the whole day and wait for it until it's done, but I think it might take a little bit, especially. Oh, there it is. I don't know if you can hear it. The fan just kicked in. Nice. All right, that's what I expected. Should have come on pushing the maximum voltage. Quite impressive, especially when it says the battery states up to 20 amps. So it's very important as well that you size the cable, the wire, to the appropriate size. And that was nice. That was easy. So I'll show you this one again. In case you think about this one, um, check the price comparison with all the math I did. Um, is it cheaper for compared to anything on the market? I'm pretty sure no. Um, does it give you more versatility? Yes, but make sure you don't destroy your specific battery. I like it. It has a lot of power in my opinion. It's a good alternative. I'm not saying there's nothing better out there, but this is definitely an improvement to the old um, version one, I would call it. This is version two probably. So I hope this helps you in making your fundamental decision in case you're also looking for power supply or charger or something. A little cheaper you want to buy in or whatever um, or just play around the DIY stuff. I hope you liked this video as well. As always I like to ask you if you want to like the video maybe subscribe to the channel helps me a lot. I hope to see you next time. Right. Thanks for watching. Cheers!